So this is a weird story that hit on the electoral front. Uh, parents, 12-year-old says Abby Broyles verbally accosted kids at a Valentine's party. Dear God, this thing has gotten viewed 34,000 times. Like, <laughs> what? What is wrong with our society? Uh, anyway, um... Yeah, I mean, just if you haven't seen this, like, Abby Broyles it ran for Senate last cycle. She's running for 5th District this cycle. She apparently got very intoxicated at a Valentine's Day gathering that had a bunch of preteens at it, and she said some really awful stuff to the kids. Anyway, it is a crazy story. Um, I... Listen, I fucking told you so. I told you so. I told you so. I've been telling y'all for two years. Abby Royals ain't shit, but a goddamn racist. And I told you so. (laughs) I told you so. All these, listen, all of y'all white progressives, khaki porch, I'm fucking talking to you. (laughs) You who want to argue with me on Twitter when the fuck I say something. Listen to black women, because what the hell I got to lie for? When we tell you some shit ain't right, some shit must not be right. Like, I fucking told you so. Call my phone, Khaki, because I want to tell you to your face. I'll FaceTime you later. I told you so. You want to ask who else is going to do it? It doesn't matter who else is going to do it, because at the end of the day, Mm -hmm. Stephanie Bice ain't out here calling 12-year-olds Hispanic fuckers to their face. So what do you have to say? And no, I'm not a Stephanie Bice supporter, but that's how uh, Khaki Porch came at me was, there's nobody better than Abby Broyles. Are you going to run? Nobody else is doing it. I don't, listen, I am not a person in favor of replacing one racist with another racist just because they have a D by their name. And that's what the fuck, y'all neoliberals, it... Shit libs need to quit doing because you want to vote for anybody that has a D by their name and they're not here for you. They're not here for you. I told y'all that bitch wasn't here for us. I told y'all that. I told y'all that. Two years I've been telling y'all that. And now look. Oh, now y'all want to listen because a white man write a story about it? Because she insulted some little white kids? Because y'all know this house party was a house full of fucking white people except for the Hispanic fucker. Are you kidding me? Now it matters because she hurt some little white girl's feelings, huh? What about all the black and brown people and staffers she discriminated against and shitted on? Y'all didn't care about that. I fucking told you so. I digress. No, I mean, that's... That's it. Mashallah to that.